Direct Selection Tool. In this tutorial, let's see how to modify the paths of an object, frame, and image using the Direct Selection Tool. InDesign's Direct Selection Tool is designed to work much like the one found in Illustrator, but with a few twists. Direct Selection Tool is basically an editing tool. This helps in selecting and moving the bezier points and bezier handle of a drawn object or frames, and even changes the shape of a frame by moving any of its corner nodes. This tool is otherwise called a white arrow tool. Now here in this document, we're going to see a gradient filled object already placed. Let's select the direct selection tool by pressing its shortcut key A. We can now position the tool over the bezier points that we want to move. Now let's drag the point to a new position. And as we do so, you'll notice a change in the object's shape. Similarly, we can even change the shape of an object or frame paths. To change the path of the object, let's click the cursor on any one of the object path and drag them. You'll notice only the selected path of that object moving. The shape of an object can even be adjusted using these bezier handles, as you see now. If you want to select bezier points from an object, for example, let's take only the sharp edges of this object. And then holding the Shift key, let's drag a marquee on the sharp edges. Now you'll see only the anchor points of the sharp edges selected. Here the selected points appear solid, and the unselected points will appear hollow. Using this tool, we can also delete a portion or an anchor point from an object or frame. Let's click the tool on an anchor point and hit the delete key from the keyboard. We can now observe the anchor points of that object deleted. Please note, double click the direct selection tool on an item and we'll convert that tool into a selection tool. All right, I hope that through this movie, you'll have a better idea of how to use and work with this direct selection tool. Try working with this tool.